An expensive and dirty issue, and the city is about to spend millions of dollars to start fixing it. Tens of thousands of septic tanks, some of which have leaked and polluted Jacksonville's waterways. Yeah, three years ago, the city launched a program to address the problem, and now the first construction work is about to dig in. Water flows down the drainage ditches in this Biltmore neighborhood in northwest Jacksonville. It ends up in Little Six Mile Creek, just a few blocks down. In every yard is an overgrown mound hiding a tank of human waste. And septic tank failures flow right into the creek, too. The little blue tanks are part of the well system that provides drinking water to neighbors here. I was born and raised here. Um, and typically throughout the neighborhood, the water quality has been poor. About 300 property owners like Mike Shoda are about to be the first connected to JEA Water and Sewer through a multi million dollar initiative launched in 2016. The city is investing $15 million, with JEA investing $30 million more. That money will cover the estimated $35,000 it will cost to connect each property. I thought it was too good to be true. The years ago, they thought about doing it or talked about doing it, and they wanted us to pay big connection fees for each property, and that wasn't feasible. But these are just working class people that live in the neighborhood. JEA needed 70% of the 358 owners in Biltmore to agree to the connection. It has more than 80% already. The connected owners will be getting water and sewer bills for the first time, an estimated $70 a month. Is there any concern that people might not be able to afford even a, a $70 a month bill? Some of my renters have expressed those concerns, but I don't think that'll be an issue. Shoda says eliminating maintenance on well and septic systems should offset that. The survey work has been done. Actual construction starts in May. This project will connect 1,600 homes, but there are 65,000 septic tanks in Jacksonville. Although it's only a small percentage of the whole to total problem, uh, you don't run a, mar a marathon in a single leap, and we've got to take our first steps. JEA's chief operating officer, Melissa Dykes, says they've prioritized three neighborhoods, starting with Biltmore, based on its impact on the St. John's River public health and economic development. And it helps improve the environment, it improves public health, and it improves the economy of a neighborhood by lifting home values and providing economic development opportunity. For some homeowners in Biltmore, it's an answer to their prayers. I'll be glad to see it. It'll eliminate a lot of our headaches. Now remember, 70% of the neighborhood has to agree to this, but for anyone who opts out, that will cost as well. Everyone will pay an availability fee of about $21 a month. The next neighborhood scheduled is Beverly Hills.